So the PS Vita was released in the 17th of December 2011, so it's 9 years old when this video is going to be released. So the Vita was uh, in fact the 4th or 5th handheld Sony made, so they had a lot of experience in it. This was released after the amazing PSP was released, but Right before this release, it was a massive fail from the PSP Go, which completely like messed it up with just going all digital. It's like the Xbox One S or digital edition, but it's not doing that good and stuff. But yeah, so this is re this was released as like a way to redeem themselves from the PSP Go. So people don't know that this is a touch screen, but also the back. The back of it is like a PS four touch screen and the front of it is just a normal touch screen here you get buttons just normal colored buttons but these aren't like the PSP buttons where it was like color for each player it was just it was just normal gray color you also have buttons here two analog sticks very good the analog sticks are like I generally think it's one of the best for a handheld you get a start and select button here and you also get a Sony button here. You get the Sony branding and Sony PS Vita here. On the bottom of it, we get the charger. That was very different from all the other chargers that were released from like Lightning and USB. And USB was very common at this time, but they came out with this charger. It was, there's like one of a, one of a kind, like you couldn't get any other type, like no other phone or anything would take this charger. And it was very hard to put in and out, but Sony changed this in the PS Vita Slim, which was way thinner and less, it was some less, but also some better upgrades, so like some upgrades were worse, some were better. On the top you get power button and two slots here, I'll get to that a little bit later. We get a volume rocker, both buttons. Very good buttons, clicky, but the only problem was that these buttons are a little too small for my fingers. Like, I have big fingers, it's very small. You get triggers here, but for PS Vita, you only get two triggers. The triggers are okay, they... The clickiness of these triggers aren't as good as others, but, like, the DSi was way better than clickiness. Here you get two things to rest your hand on. You also get a touchpad here and you get a camera at the front here and one at the back here. The um, So the screen in the back you get lots of PS like PSP buttons like the square, triangle, X and O buttons just over the back you get some of these verification and stuff but yeah you get screws here these like holes in them like that's one thing that was i was very shocked by like they didn't even like bother to cover these up you can see here so then at the top you get two slots the first slot if i could open it these slots are a little hard to open but this was to add like any accessories like a psv camera or all those stuff like it wasn't commonly used to be honest and you get two screws here as well if you were like to open it up but it was, the screws here, they didn't hide up that much, you can just see it here, here, but yeah, you get these for like accessories like a PS Vita camera and like other stuff for the like games. And this one, oh, one minute, here okay, finally, this was for cartridges, so it's the same as DS's, but this went like very different from what the PSP had, as they had UMD discs I believe. But these went straight to cartridges, which meant it didn't hold as mo much data as others, but it still did good. And the side here, you get nothing. But then you also get a headphone jack, and just get two holes here. That these I don't you can see better. These holes, me on it, like honestly, I didn't really like these holes. It's like it felt very weak here. But yeah, and um, now we're gonna be seeing what's inside the PS Vita. So inside, you get a nice touch screen here. It's a little bit weird. The lighting's a little bit weird here. Here, it's, I don't know. I think it's just like that. So yeah, 
the lighting is a little bit weird but yeah this came with a wi-fi model and a wi-fi plus 3g model model which meant that you could be using it on the go which would be very helpful like before this is like the switch before the switch was released but yeah the software here was very weird because it's like an iphone not an iphone but like a mobile so software but it was like the time where mobile games would start to get big and stuff so yeah you get like some games like um you get some uh, demos here you can see like demo demo you I have minecraft and marvels but these are like, i got ages ago so yeah the psn i don't think it has psn in this but ps plus is no longer supported here so you could get ps plus but you won't be able to get like two or three monthly games for free as they don't sell him any more games on this but yeah this was basically it. it was the so what happened with this was it wasn't very successful because the rise of mobile phones and sony didn't really like do that many like advertisements for the ps vita that much like i remember growing up i would never i didn't even know what a ps vita was for like two years because of it but yeah it was touch screen you can see it's pretty responsive the quality if, is okay the lighting is a little bit weird but it's not bad you can just see like yeah it's okay quality so now we're going to be putting in a game cartridge and i'll be showing you how it is so this was if you were to buy it the boxes weren't that large at all like it was not that big it's like I'd say a little bit more than half an actual disc cartridge, but yeah, you just got one cartridge here and like some sleeve for like instructions or like how to play. So yeah, this is what it came with. See, it's not very big, but the top was weirdly shaped. It was like you can see it's like not straight like other games, like the DS is so straight. So now we're gonna put this in and see how it works. So. Well, unlike the DS where you had to put it at the back and it, the game had to face away from you This one had to face towards you which was for me a bit harder because I used to go I just got used to the other one and when you just pop it in it starts loading So now you be able to play this And that's another feature that not a lot of people know you be pressing on it It won't play straight away you had to play it was like um, When you double click on iPhone it will give you two like all the games that are playing behind it and stuff, you got PSN, but it's not really worth it. It's like that. And then, if you don't want to use it, you can just fold it down like that. That It was a nice feature, but at the time, it was like, you just had these on an iPhone. It, was like, it looked like an iPhone, to be honest. So, yeah, you had to click it again, which was a lot of trouble. Just, But, yeah, the PS Vita... I generally didn't like as much as the PSP because PSPs had like some really good games and the PS Vita um, stopped making games like Sony stopped making games for the PS Vita in 2015 so I believe one year after the PS4 was released but yep it was also not that common but like the camera, I, I never even knew about the camera but you could use it for Skype calls or you can even browse the water internet with this DS and uh, yeah so we're just gonna do this like touch screen was very common here like you see that you can also use this but it's like here it was just like that it's like this if you I'm just gonna quickly go through it to show you guys so here you can just pick characters and this is one thing like some of the touchscreen will be like so but look I can move side to side but I can't actually select the character you have to tap on it look. you have to tap on the actual character you want then I'll go to it it's like Hoke and for this being released in that time I was like I generally don't think it was worth at that time as it was released for 200 pounds I believe I believe it was 200 it might have been a little bit more but yeah this was released for 200 and still nowadays you can find these for like they're not that cheap they're like six 
see this. Like nowadays, they're not that cheap. They're still going on for like like 60, 70 pounds. You can even get them for a hundred, and like so you can bargain them down. But you won't get them any cheaper than fifty most of the times. So the PS Vita, is it worth it? Should you get it, or should you just buy something else like the Nintendo Switch? I generally believe that the PS Vita wasn't the best of Nintendo's and even Nintendo stated that they won't be making any handhelds so yeah the PS Vita also had PS4 Link I haven't set it up with my PS4 as I just reset this just for the video um, but yeah PS4 Link was a way to remote play so you'd be like on holiday or in someone else's like, house you'd be able to play your own PS4 games in this by entering a code at home then you'll be able to do whenever and then you also get PS4 second screen which was basically it was you could use it as another controller it was, you had a screen here and the same screen would be on the TV so you could just use it as another controller as player 2 or anything but besides that I generally believe if you could get one of these for £50, £60 you should get it if you have a PS4 as remote play you could do remote play and uh, like second screen like it's pretty good for like going on holiday you can buy like one or two games if you want to but if you were to just buy this by itself no ps4 or anything i don't believe it's worth as even the buttons aren't that big like buying this for a kid is okay but still like you sh you shouldn't get this unless you own a ps4 it's just, i only use it because the switch came out like i really wanted the switch but i literally i have no money so I really wanted to switch but I couldn't get it so I just went for one of these bought this for like mad cheap I feel it was like 40 something like that and then I just used this as like a second screen like I'll be in another room I'll just remote play it to here but even with remote play there'll be a little bit of lag compared to a Nintendo Switch when it's playing it natively on the cartridge this would be streaming it from the PS it'll be on the PS4 then the, from the PS4 will be sent to this so there'll be a, a but depending on how far away you are from the PS4 there'll be more lag so I usually just play around the house and other rooms and stuff but yeah this is the PS Vita review and thanks for watching smash that thumbs up button subscribe comment what other videos you want to, me to do I'm planning to do some gaming videos and when I hit 2k subscribers I am going to be doing a room tour so very whoa very good and uh, yeah so subscribe to see that room tour and share this video so we can hit 2k faster bye